Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're gonna take a look at the YOLO utilities. So we have a bunch of functionality for different parts of the computer vision training pipeline. So you can both do auto labeling annotations with Autolytics and YOLO as well. So let's say that you have a pre-trained model or you have your own custom model. You can go in and use that to make predictions and auto label new data so we can create our data flywheel. So we're going to take a look at that. You can also convert between different formats and so on. So that's also pretty cool. How we can get bounding boxes, dimensions, the YOLO dataset explorer. We're going to take a look at that, go through all the utilities that we have. So I'm sure that a lot of you guys are probably not familiar with all of these functionalities that we have built into the Autolytics framework as well. So definitely go in and check that out. So let's not just jump straight into the Autolytics documentation. I'm going to show you how we can find the YOLO utilities. So we just have to go inside quick start and then we have our use it simple utilities. And that's pretty much it. Then you can see all the table of context over here to the right. So we both have some data functionality, some data utilities. We also have utilities for image compression, auto split of your data set into your train validation and test split. We also have some operations and utility for bounding boxes and plotting. So if you just go a bit further down, we can go from utility to utility and take a look at some of the most important ones. And let's go in and take a look at how we can auto label our own data with a pre-trained model. So right now we can see that we have our data, the YOLO dataset explorer. We can take a look at that in just a second, but we also have the auto labeling tool and we only have to write a single line of code, import, auto annotate, module and class from Autolytics. And that's pretty much it. We can feed in the data, the detection model that we want to use. Again, we can both use a pre-trained model, but we can also use a custom trained model on our own data set if you want to create a data flywheel, which basically just means that we have some initial data, we label that manually, then we train a custom model, then we use that model to go in and auto label our new data coming in. We can do some refinements, review of that data, and also the annotations, and then we can train our model with that again, swap it out with the previous one, and then we just have this data flywheel, which just keeps on iterating until we are satisfied with our object detection results. So this can both be done with object detection, segmentation, and so on. We also need to pass in the SAM model if you want to do segmentation. So mobile SAM.pt, the device here, CUDA, and also the output directory for our saved labels. We also have functionality for like converting between Coco into the YOLO format. If you have done your annotations with a different tool, which export in a Coco format, then you can directly convert it to the YOLO format with just a single line of code. And again, we pretty much have all the default values. You can go in, copy it to the clipboard, paste it directly into your code, and use it. So if we just scroll a bit further up again, let's go in and take a look at the YOLO Data Explorer. We already have a video for that. So the only thing that we have to do is to go in and pip install the Autolytic Explorer, go inside our terminal, paste it in. There we go. I can We can see that my requirements are already satisfied. And then we can just call the command YOLO Explorer and it will open up the user interface. We can then use AI to explore our data set based on embeddings. So right now to start with, we need to select the data set. You can also have your own custom data set in here. We're just going to use one of the default ones. You can also choose which of the models that you want to use. You can also have custom models in here, but let's now just hit explore for the Coco 128 data set. So, so once we get inside the Autolytics Explorer, we can go in and just ask the AI to find images for specific cases. So right now let's say that we want to show images with just um, people or people. There we go. We can ask the AI. We can also directly go in and have query for our database and it's just going to extract all the images based on similarity search. So all these images here are just embedded into a space and then we do similarity search based on the visual features. So right now we can see that right now it's just showing images with people and it is pretty much correct. We can also go in and just type in grass and it should also only show the images with grass. We can see here that it hasn't found um, any results with this AI generated query. So you can also type in the direct query up here, but if we just go back again and just hit um, animals then, there we go. We can also just like delete it or like reset it and it's going to go back to default. So another thing here that we can quickly go over before we're going to auto label our data set, it's just like if you want to find similar images to this one, we just click it, we take the number of similarity searches that we want to do, we hit search, and it's going to find all the similar images to the one that we have chosen. So we can see that it pretty much just finds images where sports is happening or also grass in the background. So that's pretty much it. We can see grass in pretty much all the images and the images without grass 
some kind of sport is being done. Of course, there will be some false positives here and there. So that's pretty much the Autolytic Explorer. Definitely go in and explore your data set. It is really important when you work with AI and update detection models, because again, trash in is also trash out to our models. If we go back again into the utilities, let's now go in and see how we can also label our data set. The only thing that we have to do is copy paste this one and we can go inside a custom Python script and just specify the paths. So right now we just have this auto labeling script and I have a bunch of images up here that we're going to run through. Right now we're just going to use a pre trained model, but you can also use your own custom model. This is just a CCTV camera at a highway. If you want to do some highway analytics, we have both tracking directly with autolytics. We have videos for all of that counting, counting in which of directions it's going based on optic tracking. So definitely check that out as well. We just have a bunch of images and we want to auto label it because it will be time consuming and also very boring. So just sit here and annotate each of these cars passing by, especially when we have pre-trained models already doing a pretty good job at that. So right now we just have to go inside auto label. We need to specify the data set path right now, just from autolytics.data.annotator import auto underscore annotate. We call this function here, specify the path to our data, the detection model we want to use. We can probably just use the small model, the SAM model, so mobile underscore SAM.pt. And if you are running this for the first time, it will extract and download all the weights. It will download all the models automatically. We can specify the device. So if you have a GPU available, you can also do that because then it's just going to process all the detections on the GPU instead of the CPU. Then we need to specify the output directory. So just have an output directory called labels. So let's go in and create a folder for that. Labels, and then it's going to store all the labels in there. That's pretty much it. We don't have to do anything else. Just copy paste the code, specify the specific path and also the model that you want to use. We call Python auto label.py. We're going to run it. It's going to set out the model, load in the data, extract it, save the labels into our labels directory. So right now we can just see it processes each individual frame. We can see the number of detections it has. So we can see that it pretty much detects cars and also the inference speed. So around 10 milliseconds per image. Now we should be good to go. It just took a few seconds to process all the images that we have in our data set. And if you just go inside and take a look at the images, we can see that we have 69 images. So it only took around um, yeah, a couple of seconds. That's pretty much in line. We can see all the individual labels. So we'll have an image and then we'll have a corresponding text file with our labels. So this image file here will be corresponding to this label file. So we only have functionality for splitting our data set into a trained test and validation split with our YOLO utilities, as I showed you inside the documentation. So you can just use that function, that functionality directly out of the box as I use this auto label tool. So right now we just have the class ID and then we have our bounding boxes in the YOLO format. Then you can go in and use your data to train your YOLO V8 model directly out of the box. So only a few lines of code. We have our own data. We have also labeled it. We can set up the whole computer vision training pipeline in just a couple of lines of code. And then we pretty much have a computer vision model that we can use in our own projects and applications. Another thing that I want to show you guys here again, is just like the other functionality, you can just copy paste the code snippets and the examples directly from the documentation, but we also have this split function. The only thing that I have to do is also data dot utils auto split specify the path and also the weights here. So this will be our training. So 85% of the data, we're going to use that for training 10% for validation and 5% for test. We can also specify if our images has been annotated. So annotated underscore only equal to false. So split only images with annotation files. So right now, if we want to split our data, we need all our labels here inside this directory to be inside our images because we need to have corresponding image and also label file. So that's pretty much it. Then we can go down and run this program. So there we go. And we just call it split. So Python dot split, it will take a few seconds process. There you go. So 69 images has been processed and divided into our test train and validation split. And then it's just going to specify the path to all of that. And you can use that directly inside of Autolytics to train your own custom models. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you have learned a ton. Definitely go in and check the documentation out with the YOLO utilities. I'm sure there's a bunch of functionality in there that you weren't familiar with. So go in, check it out, test it out. And then I'll just see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.